if you know about doorposts and, and how significant they are to the Jewish community and Jewish people and how they have a, they actually put on their door the word of God for you know, the Maz, um, mezuzahs. Thank you. And so there's a lot of significance about setting this door, this gate, this sheep gate in place. And I believe that's what all of us are doing. We're, we're coming together, we're dedicating the sheep gate, and then there's the sanctification process. And do you know that the sheep gate was actually, um, well, there's some in insight, but um, it's not coming with me. El, El Shaf, no, not El Shaddai, El Shabbat, uh, from church. He's the guy who put the sheep gate in order. He's the high priest. Oh, hey, hey. Yeah, do you have your Bible? El means God, and the last part of his name um, your yeah. Oh, you rolling? Yeah. Okay, El says, I don't even know how to pronounce it. S-H-I-B. He's the priest that, um, but he is the one who consecrated it. He is the one, and El means God. And um, I'm trying to remember so many facts I've been pulling together lately, what his last part means. I want to say it means um, grace, but I'm not sure. But anyhow, there's a sanctification process that happens with the gate. So when we come to this gate, are we ready to set us, our lives apart to be living sacrifices for Him? Mm -hmm. You know, that's really what He calls us to. And out of that place of sanctification, you know, it only takes part to sanctify the whole. Mm -hmm. You know, the Bible talks about the whole lump can be sanctified when just one part. So, you know, we can, as one part, if we walk in faith and believe this stuff, rather than just think about it. If we just really believe the stuff that yes. one part can sanctify the whole, you know, so that we've been just in gathering, given that ability to come and, and sanctify the sheep gate, the place where the sheep enter. And Jesus is the door. He is the door. He is the gate. Yes. 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 So yes. he is yes. the one. Yes. And, um, Thank you, Lord. And, and there's no other way. He's the one who yes. guards the sheep. You know, he is the one who protects the sheep. And uh, as we come and go through him, he'll let us come and go. Isn't that awesome? You know, he gives us that ability. And he, but he knows how, you know, how unwise we are at times. But he is the one who protects us. Praise God. So we enter into the sheep gate. We enter into that, that, that place of safety. And we allow him to open our ears so that we can hear his voice and know him. In a greater way, isn't that awesome? Yes. And then we're ready to go on to the fish gate, which is talking now to us about bringing all of the whole group in. You know, like bringing them all in the harvest. Yes. So yes. each gate actually talks to us about our Christian walk. <laughs> Love her thing. Well, praise God. So <laughs> it's all the Lord's things. Uh, you know, He created. Everything he created. So it starts uh, all there and it goes all the way around to the gate. Yeah, the sheep gate is the first and last gate. You can't get anywhere without entering into the sheep gate, receiving Jesus Christ as your Savior, like receiving His atoning blood. That at the Passover time, we what? We put it on the doorpost. That that keeps the what? The death angel away from us and allows us to enter into that promise of eternal life with Him. It's an awesome thing. So that's our first step. We can't go anywhere till we come in through the sheep gate. And um, so we, this this gate, we're actually warring at this gate today so that what it is called will come forth. Do you understand? This has been called forth from the foundations of the world. That he said, that he said this land is his sheep gate. And so I'm, I'm just... The revelation of this is pretty awesome. <laughs> Here we are in a, in a very significant place. Yes, thank you, Lord. So um, I'd like to pray if that's yes. okay. Wonderful. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my goodness. So, Father, we just thank you that Jesus is the way, the yes. truth, and the thank life. You, and that he God. has gathered us today in this place that we can come into a significant land area, a massive land, God, that you've called to be set apart in Lancaster 
and we we call it today we call forth it as the sheep gate the place of entrance into salvation it is the gate of salvation and lord i pray that there would be a massive um, release of revelation that you are the only way lord jesus that yeshua is the way the truth and the life where we receive the fact that yeshua is the actual sheep gate and lord that today the blood of christ as, as you wave the flag, I just think of the blood, the blood that we put on that door post, Lord, to protect us from the enemy. And Lord, let the church of Lancaster arise and realize there is no other way, that Jesus is the only way, the only way. He is the only one. He is the only mediator between God and men. He is the Lord Jesus Christ. So, Father, we just thank you and we ask you for wisdom yes, even Father. now as we, we come into this gate that thank we would speak you. for those words that are needed to be spoken. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. We thank you. We give you glory. We give you praise. We praise you. We lift our voices to you. We love you, Father. We welcome you here. We welcome you here. We welcome you here. It's the anointed song for this moment. We've been singing that song in so many different ceremonies. So, uh, yes. You know, I thought it was rather strange, but it's what God is saying. God is trying to. countries. Yes, Lord. Uh, yes, Lord. So raise your voice in prayer. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Lord, we want to thank you for the great opportunity, the privilege you have given to us uh, to grow together this afternoon uh, in accordance with your plans and purposes. We thank you for things you have spoken in figures, in symbols, things that you have prophesied and spoken that they would come to pass in our generation. And today we are believing you that Lord you will fulfill that which you have spoken concerning our times. That there will be such a, an outpouring of your Holy Spirit upon all flesh in this region where we are. And that, Lord, you will move by your Holy Spirit and gather men from every direction and draw them to yourself, draw them into your kingdom. And we shall witness in our day, in our time, in this region, the mighty outpouring of the Holy Spirit. The glory of God shall be manifested. 
for the signs and the wonders and the miracles and might. The great opportunity, the privilege you have given to us uh, to grow together.